What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how I go about removing excess oil from my loose natural hair. So let's get into it. Now before jumping into this video, let's just take a moment to acknowledge the growth of my edges. And that's all thanks to my Here We Grow Hair Growth Oil, which is a staple in my external hair care routine. If you're new to my channel, then definitely go ahead and check the link above to see my postpartum alopecia journey to gain more understanding as to why I am so excited about this progress. So once I'm done taking out my cane rolls, I went ahead and detangled my hair. Now please bear in mind that this video was actually recorded before discovering how to properly detangle my hair. And if you haven't yet seen my previous video on how to properly detangle your natural hair, then definitely go ahead and check the link above. Now, in some of my earlier videos, which I will definitely go ahead and link above as well as link in the description bar below, I have shared my issues with having dry, flaky scalp, which was also one of the reasons why I decided to comb out my locks. So, to combat my dry, flaky scalp, I have implemented a weekly moisturizing routine for my hair and scalp, as well as a daily routine for my edges, which has helped me to greatly minimize any dryness and flakes and as you can see here my scalp isn't as dry and flaky as it's been in the past now with maintaining this weekly and daily routine this sometimes causes my hair strands to feel oily and with some research I discovered that you can actually remove excess oil buildup from your hair and scalp with the use of clay masks So after detangling my hair, I went ahead and applied my clay mask. And first I applied the mask to the edges of my hair, then the middle, and then in quarter sections. And if you would like to know how I went about making my clay mask, I will definitely go ahead and link the video above as well as in the description bar below. Then I apply and massage the hair mask into smaller sections of my hair for an even distribution to ensure a thorough clean. Once I'm done with each section, I put my loose hairs in a bantu knot to keep it separate from the other sections. So from my research, I found that the way in which clays remove buildup from the hair is by attracting both negatively and positively charged minerals to the opposite negatively and positively charged ions of the clay. This allows the clay to detoxify and remove any dirt and or products from your hair and scalp whilst healing your scalp where necessary. And believe me, I am still amazed at how much length I've retained after combing out my locks. And if you want to find out exactly how much length I retained after combing out my locks, then definitely go ahead and check the cards above. Although I'm using the clay mask to remove oil product buildup from my hair, it is said that using clay mask can also be used to add shine to the hair, minimize frizz, moisturize the hair, and help to repair damaged hair. So 
so now that the clay has started to dry onto my hair it is at this point where the clay will then cling to any products such as oils which can be found on your hair or scalp and then remove it when it comes time to rinse now because I want the clay to dry and remove the excess oils from my hair strands, I left my hair uncovered. But if you don't have a lot of product buildup on your hair, then you can go ahead and cover your hair with a shower cap if you wish to. So I left the clay mask on my hair for almost three hours and that's only because I was not in any rush to wash my hair out. But for best practices, it is said to leave it on your hair for up to 30 minutes. Okay, I hope you guys found today's video very helpful and if you did, then please be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. So until next week Sunday at 5pm, we will be right back here with another video.